Alyssa Al Hadef, Scott Beagle, Martin Duque Anguiano, Nicholas Dorette, Aaron Feiss, Jamie Guttenberg, Chris Hickson, Luke Hoyer, Kara Lofferin, Gina Montalto, Joaquin Oliver, Elena Petty, Meadow Pollock, Helena Ramsey, Alex Schachter, Carmen Shentrup, and Peter Wang. One year ago today, those 17 people died in the deadliest school shooting in American history. Today, many paid their respects to the people killed at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. A memorial formed this morning around the school, a statement that people will not forget what happened last Valentine's Day. The shooting happened more than a thousand miles away, but you know what? The impact was felt right here in the tri-state. The grandmother of one of the victims, Jamie Guttenberg, is from Cincinnati. I spoke with her about the loss one year later. Whenever I do so, I hear Jamie telling me, you go grandma, mm -hmm. you know, and just make sure this doesn't happen to more people. An avid dancer and straight A student, Jamie had dreams of becoming a pediatric physical therapist. Instead, she was shot while running down a hallway trying to escape. Since the shooting, Ethel Guttenberg has devoted much of her time to championing stricter gun legislation. Yes, there are other ways that we can do things maybe, but you know, we have to concentrate on the major problems to begin with. And that's the background checks and limiting and, and eliminating the sale of assault weapons. The White House released a statement today saying, quote, today as we hold in our hearts each of those lost a year ago in Parkland, let us declare together as Americans that we will not rest until our schools are secure and our communities are safe. President Trump says much has been done in the past year, including expanding mental health and counseling services to schools and coming up with better ways to identify troubled students.